Hey guys, welcome back, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I decided I'm reading a, a book. Um, this is the author my um, uh, school gave me. So um, I read this and I'll do, be doing a book report on this. So let's get started with this. Okay, so uh, the author is, I mean, uh, the author is Warhorse. Um, the what's it called? Illustrator, I think. No. Author is Michael Morporgo, and there is also author who is Warhorse. These both are authors of this book. So I'm gonna be reading it today. I hope you enjoy it. Okay. So let's open the first page. The book's name is King of the Cloud Forest. I'll give you a sneak peek of the book. I see a ru I see a ruler standing before me. I tell you, this boy of yours will be a king, and soon. When Japan invades China, Ashley and Uncle Sung were are forced to flee. It is a perilous journey across the Himala Himalayas, and they struggle to survive. Then Ashley is captured. Who are these strange creatures that revere him as her king? The name of this book is King of the Cloud Forest. I am called Ashley Anderson. Ashley after my mother's father, so I was told. And Anderson after my father, of course, whom I remember so well that I don't that I only have to close my eyes to have him standing before me. He was an American by birth from New England who grew up with one single-minded and determined ambition to go to China and spread the world of God. Some people ran away to sea or to join the army. My father ran away to become a missionary Mission, missionary when he was 15. By then, he was already an imposing imposing figure over six feet tall and broad for them, and able to pass himself off as a 24-year-old to the missionary society who were only too ang anxious to have someone of his youth and enthusiasm. By the time he was nearly 20 he was establishing his own mission outside the town of Ting Ting Sho. so guys i hope you enjoyed today's video see you next time bye